Ms. Alets are available for a free will offering. Please call the rectory. The rectory remains closed, but accepting phone calls Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. The north door may be used for an exit only. Please exit the church immediately after Mass so that the church can be sanitized and pre prepared for the next Mass. The presider of this Mass is Father Anthony. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Nativity of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Take away the 
sins of the world receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made this most sacred night radiant with splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we, who have known the mysteries of his light on earth, may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdens them the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaker you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flesh, flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God hero, father forever, prince of peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by justice and judgment, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh. 
The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devotedly in this age as we await the blessed hope the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Canerius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields, and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we celebrate the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the good news, the gospel, the evangelion. This is the good news the church proclaims today. When God sent his son to the earth, he opened the door of salvation to whoever would believe. That means anyone, anyone can become his child, his son, his daughter, and have a personal relationship with him. This tiny baby is the Emmanuel, which means is God with us. God with us even during COVID. 
God with us even when we listen to the news and read the newspaper, all the ugly news we are reading and listening to and watching every single day. God with us especially during hard and difficult times. God with us when we feel alone. God with us when we miss our loved ones. God with us as we pray and hope for a better and a healthier 2021. As you look at the nativity scene, spend some time contemplating each of the characters or the figures that you see within it. Focus on what each must have had been wondering or thinking about Jesus that special night 2,000 years ago. Consider what the Blessed Virgin Mary must have been thinking while she was there in the stable looking at her newborn son. Reflect on how humbled and awfilled Saint Joseph must have felt. Ponder how important this moment was in history, that God would send a host of angels to proclaim the event, like any proud father would do. Stop to reflect on what a bold statement it made, inviting not the wise men, not the wealthy, living in Jerusalem, but inviting the shepherds, who are often thought of as the least popular, the outcasts in the community 2,000 years ago. Contemplate how far those wise men had traveled and what a significant statement they made, not only with their gifts they presented to baby Jesus, but in their worship of the Christ. Christmas Day reminds us that Jesus came and came to bring to us all a new life. Once later on, Jesus said, I came so that you might have life, abundant life, beyond the lights, beyond the music, beyond the gifts, God's message is still the same. He wants you tonight to have abundant life and then to extend this abundant life to others. Especially now, everywhere we go, there are people who are in need. They may be smiling on the outside, but on the inside they are hurting. Maybe even your friends, maybe even your family members may be going through things that maybe you aren't aware of. But because you came here tonight, you have the power, you have the influence to make a difference in their lives. When you open your heart to others, when you are ready to help others the best you can, you are releasing God's goodness. You are sharing with others God's own grace. When you call a friend who is discouraged and say, I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you, you are pouring life into him, into her. And it is not your life, it is God's own life. Maybe you are the one going through something difficult. When you share life with others, you are sowing a seed that God can use to bring a harvest of healing, a harvest of blessing into your future. Therefore today, look for ways to share the gift of God's life that you are going to receive when you receive the Holy Eucharist. And remember, 
that the true gift of Christmas is wrapped up in today's Gospel reading. For today, not tomorrow or next month, today, a Savior has been born. For whom? For you. And the Savior is Christ the Lord. Because he loved us, because he, he gave himself to us as a little baby in the grotto, in the stable, in Bethlehem, we can love others. We can share the gift of God's love, of God's strength, of God's grace with all others. This Christmas, may you see and may you know in you how great is God's love towards you. May the light of Christ, our brother and our Lord, shine on you, shine on all your family, this Christmas and in the coming new year. Merry Christmas and God bless you all. Now let us profess our faith together as Catholics. And today it is a little bit different because when we say together, when we refer to Jesus and say he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became men, we will genuflect, we will pause and we will genuflect and spend some moments in silence thanking God for this great gift of giving us his own son. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became men. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this special day, when the goodness and kindness of God, our Savior, have appeared, let us, dear brothers and sisters, humbly put forth to him our prayers, trusting not in our good works, but in his love and in his mercy. For our Holy Father, bishops and priests, may the Lord continue to bless them in their ministry of heralding the birth of Christ, the Son of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hold political power, may the grace of the Holy Spirit help them use their position for the sake of the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For migrant families who travel in search of a home, may they, through the mercy of God, 
find welcome, support, and help to start a new life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving in the military and all first responders and their families, for comfort and hope for those torn by violence and for a just and lasting peace for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect for the value of human life from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in the recognition of vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate, religious life, and dedicated lay people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who experience illness of body, mind, or spirit from this virus and from every other illness, including those who have asked for our prayers, Adriano and Ryan Sapergue, Jerry Sweeney, Lillian Mark Sinskowski, and for those mentioned in our bulletin, may they and their caregivers feel God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, the parish of St. Raphael, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for those who have died this week from this virus and from every other illness, including Ethel Keo, Peter B. Sheridan, Frank J. Dorenzo, Edward Mc McElroy, Promise Day. And for all our loved ones who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our intentions, those given to the ministry of praise, and those that remain in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you are our refuge and you are our strength. We ask you to hear the prayers of us, your church, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain in the name of Jesus Christ, our brother and our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim... You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. At the Savior command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi custodiat men vitam eterna. Amen. Sanguis Christi custodia et me vita materna. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we, who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity, may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with Him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.